What do you say, what do you say? It's Mr. Gary, the king of hospitality. Why am I the king of hospitality? Because you said so. And with over 35 years in the customer service and hospitality industry, I can take you where you need to be and where you need to go. We are the only reality show starring you and your people. Now you know your people need some education. So on them, your people, we educate. Tune in each week to find out the who, what, when, where, and why, and see what's going on in your community. Each week, pay close attention for our hospitality tip on travel, customer service, or just plain good old manners. You and your people need to be engaged. Tune in each week to find out what organizations and groups are doing so that you may be a part of something good and positive. I'm Mr. Gary, the King of Hospitality, inviting you to watch them, your people, again and again. Okay? Ha 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 ha. Okay. What do you say, what do you say, it's Mr. Gary, the King of Hospitality. I can take you where you want to be. I get to take you where you got to go. And right now, you got to go, you got to come, you got to move, you got to groove, you got to get over here right now. Who do we have with us? Casey McClure. Casey, what's going on, man? Not much. What's going on with you? It's all good because everybody's talking about Y-O-U. No. Right here. Why me? Yes, listen. Because right here. Pronounce it. Tucanos. Tucanos. Not Tostitos, not Tucanas, Tucanos. Listen, what is all this fun about out here, Casey? I tell you what, it's the greatest place in the world for me because I come in every day and it's a party. Oh, my God. Every day. Well, I tell you what, it's a big party atmosphere. Tell me how the concept works. This is a Brazilian restaurant, right? Well, it's a Brazilian churrascaria, and that means... Wait a minute. It's a who? A churrascaria. Ooh, that sounds wicked. It's mean. It's mean and great. And good. And good. Okay. <laughs> so how does everything work here? So the way it works is you start off, you go up to that big salad festival. Okay. The salad I festival. think maybe you guys saw that when you first came That's in. That's right. That's so right. There's about 70 different items on there. Then 70. you got my meat. No, you don't mean seven, do you? No, I mean 70. 70 items. Okay. And then I got my meat servers, and these guys, they come running up. As soon as I flip this cue to green, okay. they start showing up. Oh, my God. So they show today? Oh, uh, we are doing good today. Fantastic. Now, tell us how everything happens, Casey. So what we got right here is we got a little bit of top sirloin we call picanha. Okay, picanha. What we're, what we're going to do is we're going to slice off some of that. Okay. These guys keep coming as long as Ooh. this is on green. Wow. Oh, piece. my God. Yes, another piece. Because you, you can't can get enough. As as you oh, my God. So you just turn this over. That's good. We turn that over. It's green. Okay, did you all see? We got the picanha, right? We got the picanha. Okay, here's somebody else with something else. What is this? Grilled pineapple with brown sugar glaze. Oh, grilled pineapple with brown sugar glaze. Yes. I well, it must, it must be Christmas. And where's the ham? What's that? It must be Christmas. Where's the ham? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, let's see. Go ahead. Okay. Yes. Yeah, all right. All right. Oh wow. Right here. Uh huh. Ooh, right here. So I can go ahead and eat it, right? Well, yeah. Can I eat it off here? No. Them your people. Listen. When you come out here, act like you got some manners, right? Do not take this. Eat off of it, and then you want to put it back there. We can't do that. You know why? It's called etiquette. It's called a fart. You have to get your fork, you have to get your knife. You've got to cut it up, and then you go ahead and you eat it, right? So we cut it up, we're going to slice it, I'm going to see if it's good, okay? Absolutely delicious. Oh, wow. Mmm, 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 mmm. Let me tell you something. Wait a minute. I'm the king, and I want you to give me some more of that because that's so good. Oh, listen. So for all you people who say that you're very vegetarians and you say, I can't go out because guess what? All they're bringing is meat. You got something for them. We got them. all kinds of stuff oh, for them. Oh my God, delicious. Okay, thank you so much. Uh oh, wait a minute. We got somebody else coming. Oh my God. It's nonstop. How you doing? Uh, good, and yourself? I'm good. What do you have? Uh, beef tenderloin. Also, beef tenderloin. Yeah, from Virginia and Portuguese. From Portuguese. Yeah. I thought I saw them dropping that off in the truck back. i back. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. Oh, my God. There this is so go. good. Oh, I love it. I love it already. Let's good. see. Let me see. I got to tell you if it's good. Mm. Mm. 
Oh my god. Mm. Mm. Like another slice? Mm. Mm. <laughs> that is delicious. I know. Get out of here. Okay, that's good. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Mm. Mm. Listen, this is how they do it out here. Hey, hey what's up? Hey. What do we have? Father Garlic Pot Loin, known as Lombo. Oh my God, no, no. You like to try some? Lombo. Lombo. Is that la 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 bamba? Try it. Okay, okay, I gotta try some of that too. There you go. Oh my God. I need mm. to grab it with your tongs, please. Oh my God, I got the tongue. Mm, mm, mm. Is that enough? Listen. Enjoy. Let me tell you something. Oh. How oh. Does it taste? This is so. So good. Oh my gosh, I, I feel like a pig out here, Casey. Oh man, we're winning. Listen, I see people are coming out. Thank you so much. Tell us about the big place. How many do you hold out here? Uh, we hold about 341 people, mm -hmm. and we fill it up about four or five times on a Saturday. Oh my God. And so you know what that means? Up. What does that mean? Pick up your phone pick and make a phone. reservation. Pick up, listen, people. Pick up your phone, make a reservation, get out here. Don't just show up out here thinking, guess what? We're just gonna go because they say come. Listen, you know your people. You all will show up and then you get mad when you gotta wait. Make a reservation. This is delicious. Hey, you've got some rooms over there for private parties. I saw we that do, We can do parties up to 100 people up in our 100. private dining room. Mm -hmm. Does require some deposits. You know, mm -hmm. we have to make some agreements, stuff like that. Mm -hmm. But as long as everybody's here, we all have a great time. Oh my God, I'm having a great time. Tell me about the different cultures of people that you have who work here. We have about 21 to 22 different nationalities that work for us. Mm, 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 so, and uh, they're all over the place. Yeah, go ahead. Come on. Just got a little something. Oh my God, now we got something else going on. What we got here? Vegetables with olive dressing and Parmesan cheese. Ooh, so olive dressing and Parmesan cheese. Woo, right there. Oh my God, look at this. Peppers, tomatoes, oh, fresh. Do you see this zucchini? Oh, for all our vegetarians, we got you. Uh. Mm. Mm. It is so hot and delicious. Comes oh. right off that grill. So what do you all do? How do you cook this? We have our two grills are from Brazil. Mm -hmm. I like to say they're our only imports, but I got a few employees that are from Brazil too. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, they come in and then we put them on the grill. They go around in circles until they're done. Oh One side's God. got all kinds of charcoal and that's how it's heated. Okay. The other side uses gas. Oh wow. So listen, how long have you all been here, Case? Three years, well, going on three years. Three years. Three okay. years, yeah. Is the word out? Well, I don't know. People tell me it is, but I'm always here working. Okay, well, that means that the word must be out. <laughs> I, I tell you, so. that's how we found out about it. Listen, I'm Mr. Gary, and let me tell you what I want you all to do. Well, first of all, I want you all to wait before I tell you what to do, because we got somebody else coming. What we got here? This is a bacon-wrapped center-cut sirloin. A bacon-wrapped center-cut sirloin. Now, check it out. You know your people love some bacon, and to all of my people who say they don't eat bacon, I'm going to eat some bacon for you today. How? Okay? You know why? Because y'all know y'all was raised on bacon. What's up with that? What's up with that? These people was raised on the pig. And, and you know that's the truth. I know, I know it was the truth. But guess what? Remember, we don't make fun of anyone. We're just having fun with everyone, right? So for all of you all who don't eat pork, don't start emailing me and going on the website getting mad, right? All I said is I'm going to eat some bacon for you. If you don't want me to eat some bacon for you, turn your head. Come on, bring the bacon. The pig been good to all of us, all our years. And then all of a sudden, people get all brand new. They get college educated. They start. Oh. Mm. Lord, it is all good. Mm. The bacon, oh my God. That's my crispy. favorite. Crispy it's crispy. Bacon. Oh my God. Oh, look at the king. It's so good. You got me just looking like a pig on TV. <laughs> but that's okay. You want me to know why? You want to know why it's okay? Because I'm your people. And I'm just showing you all how good it is. I can't contain myself. What do we have here? We like to try some Brazilian style pork sausage on a linguine. Hold on a minute. Let me ask you a question. How old are you? I'm, how old I am? 22. You're 22? I'm 22. Why are you trying to uh, tease my ladies out there who are watching the television? Yeah. Right now, say, say that again. Say exactly how you said it. You have what? Brazilian style pork sausage. Did you see that? No, yes. Uh -huh. Linguiza in Portuguese. Linguiza in Portuguese, right? I don't know what he said, but I'm going to taste it for you ladies, right? And it's pork sausage, right? Yes, sir. All right, some more pork. I need your assistance. You need my assistance? Please. All right. Oh. Is that enough? That's enough. Yeah. Enjoy. Mmm. How good 
good is that? How really good, good is that? How good is that? It's Listen. one of my favorite things. I sometimes get it. Oh, my God. I go up to that salad festival. Mm -hmm. You know, they have that bread over there with the Parmesan cheese and all uh -huh. that on it. Uh -huh. And I'll put that on there. Mm. It's like having a little sandwich. Wow. So let me say something to you all. For all you all who've been running out there to the buffet, putting all that food and all that meat in your purse, taking it home, over, over, stop it, stop it. <laughs> Come over here because they got all the meat you could ever want, right? And you don't have to worry about taking them chicken wings out the door. Y'all know how y'all do it when y'all come from church. And what's so good about it is they know you won't do that here after church on Sundays. Because on what? Why? Because I'm sleeping. We're closed. Y'all, they closed on Sunday. You know why? Because y'all came over here and y'all start taking all their food home in, they, in your purses, right? And they said, you know what? We know how to cut this out right now. We're going to close on Sunday. Is that right? Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> hey, listen. Case, tell them exactly where you're located and how they can follow you guys. We are located at 1520 South 5th Street in St. Charles, and that's right where the new development is, the streets of St. Charles. Exactly All you got to do is get off the bridge, that's right. make a left, that's right. make another left, and you're in my front door. Yeah, and, and make sure you make a reservation before you come. Absolutely. Now listen, but you're open for lunch also, okay? Lunch and dinner. Lunch and dinner. And right. that's Monday. We serve lunch Monday through Friday, Okay. and we serve dinner all day long on Saturday. Okay, wow, wow, wow. So it's one long party that's on one Saturday. Long party on one Saturday. long party on Saturday. Listen. I want to personally invite you to one long party. And let me tell you what I need you to do right now. Go on to our website at www.themyourpeople.com and I want you to register to win dinner for four right here with my friend Casey. They're I'm going to make it bigger. Make it bigger? Oh, make it bigger. Because oh, you listen. know in Brazil we do one thing. Party. We make everything bigger. You make everything bigger. I thought that was in Texas. No, no. Texas learned from us. Okay, Texas learned from you. Okay, tell me what you're going to do. We're going to make it a party for six. Woo! A party for six. Can they bring their purses in case they want to make it a party for eight and take some food home? <laughs> <laughs> I'd prefer not. <laughs> Listen, you all heard it. A party for six, it's going down. We need you to go onto our website, right? Tell them how they can get in contact with you on your website. Now, our website is Tacanos.com, and we've got some pretty cool stuff on Tacanos.com. We okay. have this thing we call Club Tacanos. Club Tacanos. So on your birthday, when you sign up on Club Tacanos, you get a free birthday dinner. Okay. You bring in a friend, and it's a free meal for okay. you. Oh, wow. You can also also use it like a frequent flyer ticket okay, okay. every time you come in and you're gonna come in a lot wow yeah yeah you're gonna yes, earn points yes. okay. and the more points you earn right the more stuff you get Ooh, and I, I always slide a little something something to that group of people all right, all right. and they get like a free lemonade every right, now and then right, well, a little discount so when they come fun. in I want you to say I'm your people mr. Gary sent us we saw you and when you come in you do that I'm gonna see to it the case he slides you a little something 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 in this hot heat to cool you down so when what do you say? What do you say? I'm Mr. Gary. Make sure you got the spelling right. T U C A N O S. Pronounce it. Tucanos. Tucanos. In that order. What do you say? What do you say? Get on over here with me to Tucanos today. Okay? Ha 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 ha. Okay. What do you say? What do you say? It's Mr. Gary. Hey, who are you hanging around? That's right. Who are you hanging around? Is the person that you're hanging around an upstanding citizen? Uh huh. Are they working? Huh? Do they have children? Are they being responsible? Huh? You got to know who you hanging around, because guess what? If you don't know who you hanging around, then you are going to get clowned. That's exactly right, because if something goes down, the first thing they're going to end up saying is, well, I thought that you knew I had warrants <laughs> when they pulled the car over. Oh, they're going to say, well, I thought that you knew I didn't have a job. That's why they never want to pick up the check. Listen, you got to be cautious about who you're hanging around. And young people, school is starting back now, right? You got a great, fresh opportunity to wipe the state clean. See who you're hanging around with at school. If these kids are cutting classes, if the kids are not doing what they need to do, if they're not doing the homework, that's not somebody who you want to be around. And parents, guess what? You need to tell your children as well, that's not someone who you want them around. So what do you say? What do you say? Look to your left. Look to your right. Check it out. Who you hanging around? Okay? Okay. What do you say? What do you say? It's Mr. Gary, the king of hospitality. Why am I the king of hospitality? Because you said so. I can take you where you need to be. I get to take you where you need to go. And right now, we're in St. Charles, Missouri, and the place is jumping. It is hot, and guess what? We're here, you're here. So let's see what's going on, okay? Wow, hey, everyone. Oh, my God, my God. Listen, the one thing that Mr. Gary loves is a celebration. And I can tell when someone's celebrating. Let me use my magic scepter and let's see who's celebrating. Oh, 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 oh. Bam, it's right here. Hey, how you doing? Very good, thank you very much. Tell us who we have with us. 
Uh, Christy, and I'm celebrating, celebrating my birthday. And thanks for joining yeah. us. Well, you're so welcome. I'm the king, girl. You want the king at your party, don't you? Of course. <laughs> they surprised me. Oh, my God. They surprised you. How hard was it for them to surprise you? Because <laughs> you don't look like one that somebody can get it away from you real quick. <laughs> I didn't know you were coming. Well, guess what? Surprise! <laughs> Listen, you all, how important is it to have celebrations like this to get together with family and friends? This is wonderful. It's great to have all this good friends from church. Yes, yes, from church. Praise the Lord. Now listen, a lot of times people think when you go to church, all you can do is just go to church and read the Bible and go home. Is that true? No. No, I guess not. <laughs> listen, so this is your church group, right? It is. All right, and they all surprise you. Did they tell you you were coming out tonight to have Bible study? No, no, no. Because <laughs> it don't look like Bible study to me, but it looks like a whole lot of fun. Who do we have with us? Mar. Hey, Mar, how you doing? I'm doing great. Are you part of the church group, Mar? I am. Okay, so listen, what is important about a celebration when you get together with your Christian friends? Oh, just showing your love for each just other. Just showing your love for each other. Yeah. You know why? Because that's what the world needs now. Love, beer. sweet love. Is that right? And beer. And beer. And beer. There's always one who's going to come to the party and get on top of the table and dance with the lampshade. We got him. It's right here. Do we have a scripture over here? Yeah, it's uh, out of the Book of Wisdom, I believe. And it's uh, just as a dog returns to his vomit, so does a fool return to his folly. It's honestly in there. Look is it, it up. in there? Yep. Okay, tell us what it is again, out of the Book of Wisdom. Out of uh, It is. Robert. See what I'm saying? Now, I, listen. Now listen to me and listen to me good. Anytime you got somebody saying a scripture out the book of wisdom, right? That's not the church you need to be going to, okay? <laughs> We're just having fun with you. But listen, I want to work my way down here because guess what? I'm not, I tell everyone all the time, we show up and we show out. We're the only reality show story in you and your people, right? Guess what? I got my people right here tonight. I did not know that they were going to be here. I have my dearest, dearest friend from college, Kim. Hey, girl. Hey. Woo! Oh, my God. She once was Kim Russell, but now she's Kim Stanley. And here's her husband, Kevin Stanley. Kevin, what's up? Nothing much, man. Oh my, look at this. Here's your people. Now, you know, any other time when I'm talking with them, or I'm at his house, it's like, hey, what's up, Gary? Da 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 da. Now I say, Kevin, what's going on? And what do you say? What's up, man? Nothing much, man. How you doing? Fine. <laughs> listen, listen, listen. Kim, tell everybody how important to you family and friendship is. Oh, it's everything because you learn that love can cover a multitude of sins. Oh my God. Did you hear her? And she's speaking to you, you, and of course you. Love can cover a multitude of sins. So even if you start quoting scriptures out the Bible, saying out the book of wisdom, guess what? That's a sin, right? <laughs> we are just having fun. Kevin, let me ask you something. You all just celebrated uh, anniversary, is that right? That's right. Yeah. How many years? Well, since 89. So it's going to make me do math right now. Well, you know, you... 26, thanks. Thanks for that. Did you see your people whisper to him talking about 26? Look at this. Kevin, what's the secret? Talk to the people and tell them what you recommend doing. How do you well, keep it? Well, marry a good woman. That's marry what I recommend. Marry a good woman. Guess what? <laughs> Kim Russell, Stanley, she ain't nothing but the truth. She is a good woman. So you take this man's... Mm. Hey, Kim, listen. I'm so glad to run into you and your friends having a great time, right? Thank you. I just feel jealous because we haven't had a chance to get together and have a good time, right? But you know what? Being the king of hospitality that I am, we'll take that there and we'll get together and we'll report back to the people, huh? Amen. Amen. What do you say? What do you say? I'm Mr. Gary. I'm with my friend. What do you say? What do you say? It's Mr. Gary, and guess what? I'm at Natalie's restaurant here in the Central West End in St. Louis. Listen, do you need some great food? Do you need a great brunch on Sundays? Do you need to find some place for that special power meeting? Maybe it's a wedding anniversary. Maybe it's just something special with friends. Hey, listen, the food is great. The ambiance is great. And the bar drinks are delicious. Natalie's in the Central West End. Will you be dining in or dining out tonight? Natalie's, okay? <laughs> okay. What do you say? What do you say? It's Mr. Gary. I got my people. Who do we have with us? Sparkle. Hey, Miss Sparkle all the way in the city <laughs> in St. Louis doing big things. Trying to. Big things popping, little things stopping. Girl, you, you all it. the way from Atlanta. Yes, sir. So since you've been here in St. Louis, how's it going for you? Great. Fantastic. Great. Wonderful. Fantastic. Listen, you're down at the Rusty Goat now, and you yes. all are doing some out-of-the-box things. Is yes. that right? Yes. Tell yes. us one of the big out-of-the-box things that everybody should know um, about this coming up. We just finished with a Rick James and Tina Marie tribute that we're going to be doing an encore for. Okay. All right. Um, 
Um, and fire then desire. you fire desire super, super freak. freak. <laughs> She's a very kinky girl. Okay, okay. Um, and then on the twenty seventh, hosting the great event is Mr. Gary wait with it, a date it. to play. So Ooh. if you want to register for um, the dating game oh and Twister oh. and that old school fun, new school fun, oh, wow. come on down to the Rustic Goat. Well, and then well, on hold on the one second, let me stop right there. Sparkle, I tell you what. Again, she said it. On August the 27th. 27th, yes. And it's Thursday. It's a Thursday night. It's right here at the Rusty Go. It's free. And it's free. And what's going to happen is this is a chance for you to get all your friends together, your family together. You know, families used to get together back in the day and go play cards and dominoes and spades. Hey, listen, we got the backdrop for you right here, right? So you don't have to worry about your people coming, tearing up your house and messing up your house. We're just going to have fun. If you want to be one of the contestants on the dating game, that's why we're getting people hooked up for real. We're going to send them on a date. You got to send them on a date. Limo rides, a whole nine yards. That's right. And guess what? All you got to do is go on www.demyourpeople.com and say, hey, Mr. Gary, I need a hookup. I need some people. And we're going to have men, and we're going to have the women, and we're going to hook you guys up. They can go on you all's website to find out all the things that's going yes, on. Yes, or they where? can come down to the, uh, the rustygoat.com. Okay, rustygoat.com, right? Yep. Hey, listen, you all are taking the city over. You got the rusty goat, you got the horny goat, yep. you got the goat goat, and the goat tea, and everything And the Lux. And the Lux, right? Yes. Listen, it's a great time for entertainment here. Yes. Is that right, Sparkle? Yes, and in addition to to a date to play. We also have the next day on the 28th, we have a, the Righteous Mind Project, which is a full piece band that does great music, great entertainment. And then on the 30th, we have the Remedy with um, Courtney Webb and Arne Hart. So it's okay. going to be, I mean, and then it, the, the entertainment and the music continues every single right. weekend. Listen, if you want a safe place to go, you want a fun place to go with great drinks, some great um, drink specials, some delicious food. And most of all, if you want to see me, Mr. Gary, come down here and play with me. You know I will play with you for free because you know what? <laughs> Y'all my people, okay? <laughs> I'll see you on August 27th, okay? Okay. What do you say, what do you say, it's Mr. Gary, and I've got your hospitality tip for you today. Guess what? You say, Mr. Gary, are you in the bathroom for real? Yes, I am. I'm at the bathroom at Natalie's Restaurant in the Central West End. You need to come and check it out. It's a bathroom like you've never seen. But why am I in the bathroom, you ask? You know why? Because I got to give you all some hospitality tips. Listen, you see this? You see how nice and clean this is, right? You see when you turn the water on? You see that, right? You see there's soap that's here in the dispenser? Let me tell you why I'm showing you that, right? You need to clean your bathrooms. That's exactly right. Listen, when you know someone's coming over or when someone is not coming over, when you finish in the bathroom, clean it up. Nobody wants to come to your dirty bathroom, right? Make sure that you have, see, right here, some paper towels, right? You don't need a situation where people are wiping their, towel, their hands on the towels, right? You know why? Because those are your good towels. That's right. And when you don't have paper towels for people to use, they will use your good towels, your good new towels that you've never used before at all, right? Make sure that underneath your sink, right, that you have the things that you need to clean, right? Clorox is always going to be good, and so is Pine Soil and Comic, right? Make sure that you go in and that you clean up behind yourself. And for all of you all who brush your teeth and you spit in the faucet, stop it. Cut it out. Nasty, right? Use the commode to spit, right? Nobody should come behind you and all the dirty stuff off your mouth that you've been brushing your teeth with is all right down in here. And you didn't even disinfect after you finished, right? Now, the next thing we need to do, I want you to move right over here and follow me because guess what? I'm going right inside the bathroom stall. Do you see this? That's right. Now listen, when you come to the bathroom, guess what? People are gonna look and see how clean your toilet seat is. Is your toilet clean? It needs to be clean. You see the little wand thing that you have next door, right next to it? The wand thing is so that you can clean it out right when you finish, before you flush, after you flush. And guess what? The trash can is right there too. So if it's a public restroom, you need to have the things for the ladies, right? So they can take care of themselves. But here's what I found that's real helpful too. Have some air freshener. When you finish using the bathroom, spray, 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 right? You know how they go and just close the door behind them and think that the smell is just gonna remove itself? It will. After about a day or two, you don't want that. And men, when you use a common commode, guess what? You see that? Put the top up. That's right, put the top up when you use the bathroom. And when you finish using the bathroom, you know what I want you to do? <laughs> That's right, put the top back down. 
And then I want you to get a napkin, because remember we said we're going to have napkins now. And then you know what I want you to do, man? Wipe. That's right, wipe the seat out. And then when you wipe the seat out, then make sure that you throw it away in the trash can or flush it down. And then when it's all said and done, you know what I want you to do, men and women? Huh? Think about it. Somebody tells me what comes next. Huh? I know you can do it. Wash your hands. You have got to wash your hands. I don't care if you're at home. I don't care if you're at the grocery store, if you're at the restaurant, if you're at work. When you finish, wash your hands. How do you wash your hands? Just like this. You see that? It's here. You got to rub it real good. Now my hands are soapy. You understand? Now I got to make sure that the water is warm. You see what I'm saying? And you see that? This is how you wash your hands. You wash them real good. You take them in. You take them out. Right? You wash your hands. When you finish washing your hands, this is what you do because you don't leave water all over everything. Right? You get the napkin. And what do you do? Then you dry your hands. You dry your hands real good, right? And this is saying that when I go back out to eat, I'm not taking germs from the bathroom with me. It's saying when I go back out, if I should meet somebody, I can touch them. And then when you finish, guess what you do? You take the napkin, the paper towel, and this is what you do. You dry everything off, right? Right. There you go. You see how simple that was? And then when you finish that, you throw it away, just like that. And if you have a mirror, <laughs> a mirror, you make sure that you look in the mirror. You look to your right, you look to the left, and you say, you know what? <laughs> I look all right. I'm fit for the king's court. What do you say? What do you say? It's Mr. Gary. This is your hospitality moment for the day. Okay? <laughs> okay. What do you say? What do you say? It's Mr. Gary, the king of hospitality. Why am I the king of hospitality, you ask? Because you said so. And with over 30 years in customer service, I can take you where you need to be, and I get to take you where you need to go. I am the king of hospitality. So what does that mean? That means that I'm going to be able to give you some hospitality tips. I'm going to be able to tell you what's good, what's happening out here. But I need your help. I need you to go onto our website at www.themyourpeople.com and let me know what you got going on. What is your organization's doing? Tell Mr. Gary where you need to have him show up and show out because guess what? I guarantee you I ain't nothing but the truth and that's what I'm going to do. Hey, listen, I need you to go onto all of our social media outlets. Make sure you do Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, everything. Be social with us. Like us on our, on our YouTube channel and guess what's going to happen? We are giving away a whole lot of prizes and surprises. We give a big shout out to all of our sponsors and you may have something that you want to give out as well. So go onto our website and let us know and you go onto the website and enter to win the contest. What do you say? What do you say? It's Mr. Gary. I'm your people and you must be my people too. Okay? <laughs> okay. Okay.